I've been extremely lucky with this baby and that I haven't had to purchase a lot. I'm either recycling stuff I use with Griffin or I've got a ton of hand-me-downs from friends who had baby girls. And don't even get me started. My mom has seriously been shopping for a baby granddaughter for years. So I've got lots of stuff from her. But having said that, there are some gaps I needed to fill. So in this video, I wanna show you what I picked out from MightyNest.com. Yeah, MightyNest.com is a really cool online store for natural mamas. And I personally like going there just for inspiration because they have products that you don't really see anyplace else. Let's start with clothes. Like I said, I got a ton of hand-me-downs, my mom got me stuff, but I still needed kind of those jammies and onesies and things that babies basically live in the first couple months. And in this area, I really wanted organic because if they're gonna be sleeping in it for hours and hours at a time, I wanted to have no chemicals or flame retardants or anything like that. So I went with this company called Under the Nile. They use organic cotton, love it, super soft. And the thing I really love about them is that they use color. So as you can see, this is their blush pink. It's super pretty and cute. This is real similar, but it's got little booties. Now this one I'm really excited about. This is called the Welcome to the World Nightgown, and it's got in all different languages, hello and goodbye. Isn't that cute? Organic bedding was really important to me because again, the baby's gonna be sleeping on this a lot and inhaling whatever is in that material. So I went again with Under the Nile. This is the organic fitted cotton sheet, and it's in pink. And it comes in this handy dandy bag. Next, I got a baby lovey. I love these things. Griffin had one in blue. It's totally stained and nasty, so I wanted to get a new one, and it's pink and darling and organic. Look at that, isn't that cute? And then on the back, it has little circles, and what you do is you just put it on top of your sheet or like on a blanket, and it just is so nice and cozy on their face. This next thing I think I'm most excited about because I'll be using it a lot, <laughs> And this is from Blessed Nest. It is a breastfeeding pillow. And I've never seen something like this. It's filled with buckwheat hulls. So as a result, it's got a weight to it, which is actually kind of nice. This gives a lot of support for mama and baby. And because of the buckwheat, it molds and kind of forms to your baby's shape. So that's really nice. It's cozy for them. And the buckwheat, because of that, you don't have to use flame retardants on it. So it's super organic, super natural, love it. And uh, really easy to clean. You just unzip this thing, you can wash this. And you can even put this kind of bean bag thing in your dryer. Since we're a cloth diapering family, I needed a new wet bag. And I love this one because it's super little because frankly, I don't go on big voyages with little babies. Um, and so this could easily fit two diapers if you roll them up, plop, plop them in here. It's all waterproof and all that good stuff. So you just put your dirty diapers in here, zip it up, throw it in your diaper bag and you're good to go. And this is from Planet Wise. Now I'm a huge advocate of breastfeeding. I did it for two years with Griffin. I plan on doing the same with this baby girl, God willing. Uh, but I do like to use bottles here and there. It helps Papa Natural help out. Sometimes my mom will do it, you know, just so I can get some breaks and some help. So I am gonna be trying these Life Factory bottles, which I'm really excited. I love their water bottles and they come in just the cutest of colors. Uh, so I got some little guys. And then I also got some bigger ones just in case if we ever like <laughs> went out of town or something like that. Um, and they all come just in these fun, bright colors. With this silicone sleeve, it's really great in terms of just preventing them from breaking. Now, Mama needed a treat, so I got myself a Life Factory bottle. And because that's because it's so important when we're breastfeeding to be hydrated. So I try to fill this up several times, drink it down. I love this new one because it's a straw, so you just drink your water like that instead of having to open it up. I wanted to get a couple new toys for this baby girl, just something for her to play with or hold. So I got this teething ring, really basic. It's made of non-toxic wood. Uh, it's very safe, very easy to clean, you know, and I could just see a little infant hand liking to grasp for this someday. So this is one of the guys I got. I also got this dove, this little bird. Isn't that cute? And we're kind of doing her nursery with the dove theme and, and bird theme. You'll see it soon. So um, I, don't, I might use this more as decoration, but she could certainly play with it and chew on and do whatever she wants because it's safe, non-toxic. Finally, to wash a lot of this stuff, I'm going to be using the classic Bronner's Castile Soap. I love this stuff. This is their baby scent, which basically means it has 
no added fragrances whatsoever. There's nothing to it. It's just plain. And I love it because then I can add my own essential oils if I want to. So depending on what's going on or my mood or what age baby's at. Uh, so I just got a big bottle of this. This lasts forever because you dilute it so much. We use it for soap and washing and everything. So there you have it, mamas, our nursery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing this. Again, I got all of this on MightyNest.com. They are an awesome website because they carry so many non-toxic items for home, kitchen, baby, diapers. I mean, it goes on and on and on, and their shipping is either free or super cheap, depending on how much you spend. So be sure to check them out, and thanks as always for tuning in.